All right, down to one final race to win this uh, pretty nice car, as it turns out to be, for GT, the 2017 version. Well, as you can see, 97% complete. So, one final cup race um, at Silverstone Grand Prix. PR required is, of course, 70.8, as I was saying at the very beginning of the series and this one's gonna be a three lapper so I was uh, hoping to get the car customized prior to finishing this event but at least at the moment I am just uh, out of ideas on what to do with this car so we'll get the win first and we'll worry about customizing afterwards I know, a little plain just a, just a plain blue but it'll have to do for now Should be a pretty easy win and yes since it is the very final goal here really no reason to slow down right so I'll just run flat out here with decent grip uh, certainly compared to the older model GT, which is uh, grip leaves you a bit more to be uh, desired in that case. But this one, not so much. This is actually pretty good handling. Um, closer to the the Le Mans version, the Pro. The Mon Pro class, as opposed to the what year was the other GT in the the 2005 version? Now I'm gonna have to after this I'm gonna have to go check out which year the other GT that we have in Real Racing 3 is. I'm pretty sure it's 2005 rendition. Anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about the brand new one, the 2017 rendition, which um, turns out to be one heck of a ride. And indeed, I believe this is the last car in the offering for the current version of Real Racing 3. See if we're following the trend. Once this uh, limited time series expires, let's see. It was a six-day event, so I guess. Oh gosh, I want to say towards later on this week. Um, the possibly next update should be around the corner. Anyway, Get off track there, but uh, pushed a little too hard. Just wanted to see how far I can push the grip on this car. And the 
answer is uh, pretty high. Like high grip wasn't something that I was I would have expected out of uh, GT, but uh, as it turns out, yeah, that's what we're gonna get. So here we go to the final bit of the track as we are leading by some 3 kilometers plus and as we are uh, we could lap some of these slower bots here but that's alright we'll just wrap it up task at hand uh, be done and over with, which is to win the car. Alright, see, <laughs> yeah those are some slower bots aren't they? Um, anyway, that is the final race so we'll put the car in for service and yes uh, three upgrades across the board to reach the PR requirement and there we go the final gold trophy for 100% completion which is gonna be worth 15 gold and 40,000 racing dollars plus the car of course all right so that uh, well this car turned out to be actually quite a bit of blast to uh, race around the track so um, if you're on a fence about it I would say jump in it is a great fun and also as you can see it unlocks a bonus series burning rubber I believe it is um, an elite part of your career so anyway um, there you go so hope you guys enjoy um, and we'll see you in I guess the next video. Alright, take care.